Hey, William, how you doing, buddy? I mean, it's, it's, it's like, what kind you get? It's like eating steak. I love it. Get this YouTube cranked up here. Mm, I had not tried that. I want to try that. Okay, we got that going. Let's get back over to the uh, slideshow here. We'll get cranking. Crank it up. Got a great crowd on tonight. Got some new people in tonight. It's good to see everybody. It's always a pleasure to come to you tonight. Before we get started, I just want to just want to say I want to thank Will Sims for uh, providing uh, some information for tonight's training on text message marketing. It's uh, uh, he's got a, an account out there. We're going to talk about it here in just a minute, but he's got an account out in uh, Tucumcari, New Mexico. Uh, that was the the business was just absolutely dying and uh, he talked to them and got them on a text message account and he's been great uh, uh, good enough to share the uh, slides of, of exactly what's happening and I'm going to show you tonight how to set up a local ad uh, I promised some of you this about three weeks ago and uh, uh, we had some other things we took care of but we're going to get take take care of that tonight we're going to talk about the subway model tonight how to set up the subway model. Uh, basically, we have the exact same program they have, a couple, a couple of differences, but uh, very easy to set up the subway model with, um, with your business and uh, a great way to make money. And uh, I'm, I'm sure Will will attest, uh, SMS marketing works. SMS marketing is a great way to make money. Uh, it's, it's a tool in your toolbox that absolutely, you can build a complete business around and then walk back in with the uh, with the upgrades and, and those kind of things. Uh, he's getting a 12% return on the um, on the messages that go out, which is phenomenal. Uh, usually uh, uh, five to eight percent is exceptional. Uh, he's getting a 12% return, which is absolutely phenomenal. And at that rate, and uh, hopefully that he uh, intervened soon enough and quick enough that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, The business will stay open. I know he's been running a lot of specials, and they got hamburgers and things like that. And uh, but I, I'm very, very, very thankful that uh, he was allowed me to use his data uh, to show you a live campaign that's happening at this moment. So uh, thank you, Will Sims. Appreciate it very much. Uh, everybody here, welcome to our Wednesday night training presented by the App Wizard Studio team. And it's always a pleasure to come to you on Wednesday nights as we have been doing for the past five years and uh, will be five years from now. Uh, real quick, if you've not joined our Facebook group, join our Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash AWS mastermind. And uh, it's a great place to be. A lot of information flows through there. A lot of great articles flow through there. A lot of great educational stuff flows through there. So if you have not uh, been uh, or joined our Facebook group, one thing I will say, uh, and we've had a few people join over the last few days that were um, husbands, wives, sisters, daughters, friends, uh, uh, business, business partners. Uh, if you are not in the Facebook, when I search for you, we search for everybody. <coughs> if you're not in the uh, database, I don't let you come in. So if that happens, if you would just email me at carrie at appwizardstudio.com. That's carrie at appwizardstudio.com. Somebody could, if you, somebody could just type that in the group for me there. Carrie, K-E-R-R-Y at appwizardstudio.com. And just let me know who you are uh, because I, I usually delete you first and just uh, go back in and let me know who you are. And I'll be more than happy to let you join the group as long as you're part of the, uh, the, the family here. Uh, real quick, if you've not joined our YouTube channel, go to our YouTube channel. Just search for App Wizard Studio in YouTube and be a part of our App Wizard Studio YouTube channel. Uh, we broadcast live every single uh, Wednesday from YouTube Live. So if you're unable to get on or you're unable to uh, be where you can uh, get on Zoom, you can go right to YouTube. Uh, we broadcast live. And if you subscribe, you will get a notification that says, hey, 
uh, App Wizard Studio is live tonight and you can watch the training. Uh, real quick, App Wizard Studio nor I cannot guarantee just because you are watching training, you will make any sales, create any traffic, or increase your income. Every person is different, has different work ethics, and different desires. Uh, tonight, we're going to take a look at the subway model, and we've talked about this in the past in briefly and, and uh, sometimes uh, in moderation, uh, but I was uh, watching a, a video the other day that was talking about the subway model, and it brought it back to my attention. So I wanted to go a little more in depth and detail in showing you how to set up the subway model uh, to uh, make it happen, to do the things that you need to do, that you can go in and do a lot of great uh, Facebook, I'm, I'm sorry, great local marketing uh, using the subway model. And it's a great place to, a great way to create a nice recurring income uh, with businesses right there in your local area. First and foremost, what do they use to get you into their uh, program is text messaging. Uh, many of you have saw me post this. This was on a Saturday coming back from Longview, Texas, uh, several weeks ago, and that just happened to be sitting on a table. I set my glass next to it just to make the picture look a little bit better. But uh, that was sitting next to the table. Subway, want coupon offers at your fingertips? Text offers to 782-929. This is the way they get you into their platform. They don't do anything else except this. And this is everywhere. Text 782-929. And it's every subway you walk into, you see that. So this shows you right there the power. Now, this is just a simple table tent. You can see it's made out of paper. It's stuck together here. You can get these made online. Now there's, you can go to Staples and get them made, uh, but it's a simple table tent. And really this right here, you can see that this is just one long sheet. And this same thing is on all four, all three sides. This bin, this uh, folds and it just glues together right here. There was a strip on here and it glues together. The reason I know, uh, cause I took it apart. <laughs> And I've stuck it back together, but I took it apart because I wanted to see how it worked. So uh, anyway, this is just a simple table tent placed on every single table in the subway. And so um, when you're setting up these text campaigns, it's very important that you put out the how to get be a part of your program. Even if it's a simple business card, uh, what I have learned over the last several months and, and uh, increasing my knowledge in the marketing world and, and building my own brand and building my own business is you cannot market yourself and or the businesses that you are setting up enough. You have to make sure that everything they do is visible. Texting is probably the most important thing that you can do. Texting is probably the most important thing that you can put out there, whether you put window cleans, table tents. To me, in a restaurant uh, or in, in any business, and you're going to see this in a minute, what Will's got set up, uh, putting that flyer or that table tent out there and or something that where people can view at the point of sale counter, is you, that is, should be your number one priority when setting up these text message campaigns. Uh, you don't have to make a lot of money on the printing. You don't have to make a lot of money on the, uh, on the uh, table tents. But what you want to do is you want to make sure you make something on them. So don't give the stuff away. Don't feel like if you walk in and say, oh, my gosh, I got I to gotta do 50 table tents at, at $2 a piece, and they're costing me a dollar a piece. So, so that's $100, and, and I'm going to do the mobile app, and I'm going to do, the, I'm gonna do that. All that's for, for six, 60 70 bucks a month. These people aren't going to. Let, there's something I have learned, and if, if you don't get anything else, uh, BK calls this the golden nuggets. This is your golden nugget of the night. If people cannot afford your service, move on. You will go broke discounting yourself out of business. Do not do that. Um, I have talked to more people, uh, and one guy's I was at Staples on Saturday getting a new desk for my office. 
and uh, picking it up. And uh, I got a phone call and the person was almost in tears. And he said, man, he said, I just realized that I'm losing $10 on every customer that I've, that I've sold to over the last month. And my, I asked the one question. I said, why do, you, why do you think that happened? He said, because I wanted to break out in January and I wanted to make a lot of sales, so I discounted everything. And he said, I made a lot of sales, but I have not made one single penny. And it's cost me money. And so, you know, don't do that to yourself, okay? Do not do that to yourself. Make sure that you set your pricing, you know what you've got to make. If you're going to do a discount, increase your pricing so that you can bring it back to the discount point. Uh, back to the discount point, but do not discount yourself out of business. The only reason people discount things in a store is so that they uh, can get rid of the product. You don't have a product that that has a shelf life. You've got a product that is a forever product, so you don't have to discount that product to the point to where you're going broke because you won't be able to stay in business. So price your products, your services, everything you do to where you make money. If they cannot afford it, you're not the Salvation Army, you're not the Goodwill, you're not a charity, okay? Make money so you can support those charities, but you cannot support everybody out there because you want to test the market and everybody's not a test platform. You want to make sure that you, you do exactly what you have to do to run your business, okay? So create your table tents. Find a good table tent. This is a great way to do it. You could actually probably go out and make these yourself, figure out how long. That's about uh, 6, 12. That's about 18 inches long. You know, find that and go to the printer and have it printed. But this is a great table tent. It goes on every single table. Text offers to 782292 and you get into their program. Now, when you do that, you're gonna get a message, okay? You're gonna sign up and, and you're gonna start getting this message. Today, this is the message we're looking at, all right? This is a message that came in today at 1119. It's good until one of 23, January of 23. They put an expiration on all of their things. Subway does something that a lot of you are looking for, and uh, it's a, you, a lot of your clients ask for this. They say, I want people to use a coupon one time. I don't want them to be able to come in over and over and over. I really don't understand that mentality because I wouldn't want that customer coming in 50 times <coughs> over and over and over. But this is a good way, and, and Subway does this on purpose, and this is what this video I was looking at was talking about, the way Subway does it. They do it specifically so that uh, they know the number of coupons went out and the number of coupons that came in. So you simply gonna set up a message, come for the sub, stay for the cookie, free cookie with any sub purchase at Subway, expires 123. And this is the link right here, okay? This is the link right here that goes to their mobile web app. Now you say, well, Karen, do they use a native web app? What kind of web app do they use? They use a mobile web app, smartsm.mobivity.com, <coughs> Smart smartsms.mobivity.com, okay? That's their URL. Yours is either onetap.mobi or whatever your URL is for your enterprise system. So this is no more than the punch card system that we currently have. And you can see here, when you click on redeem, it's gonna tell you to confirm because it, it's going to tell you when it expires. <clears throat> to redeem this coupon, cashier must be present. Coupon will expire within five minutes after confirm is selected. You can only use this coupon once. Okay, so you want to come in. You want the customer to come in. They have to come in the store to redeem it. So you're bringing the footfall into the store. They're coming in. They're going to buy a sandwich. When they buy a sandwich, they're going to uh, get a cookie. They're also going to buy a drink. We all know that drinks is the uh, highest return of investment for any uh, restaurant out there. So they're going to buy a drink. They're going to get the entire thing for a cookie. Now, I use these often. I didn't use this, obviously, because I've already expired it because I used it tonight. Uh, I usually don't go up for a cookie. I usually go up when they got uh, 
uh, a 12 inch for a, a six inch price or something like that. But I go to Subway very often. I like Subway sandwiches and they're, they're good. And I wish they wouldn't have took the rubber out of their bread when they got caught doing that because that really that rubber really added a nice consist consistency to the bread that I like. But so you simply go in and you click on that and it says and it starts counting down and it does that right in front of the person. OK, it does that right in front of the person. So let's come over. Oops. Let me go back here. I am going to go in now. Went too far. Yeah, they, they got caught putting the putting rubber in their bread. Rubber in their bread, which I liked it. I mean, it gave it a nice, <laughs> I like the texture. I know that sounds crazy, but it, it was what it was. So let's go in here and let's take a look. Now, I've already created the app. All right, I've already created the app. Uh, this was an app I built today, and I just did, a, did the copy code. Now, one thing you got to do, and I'm going to go through this as I as because I want to make sure everybody understands how to set up texting on these apps. You're going to simply go in and you've got to go into add text service. Is Ken on here tonight? Ken Nauman? Is he on, on tonight? Man, we got a full house here. I mean, we got a ton of people here. I, he's past where I got to scroll. But anyway, okay, he's here. Ken has really, I mean, done an, an absolute phenomenal job on going out and setting up barber shops, okay, barber shops and boutiques with text message marketing. I mean, it's it's really, uh, I, I, number one, I'm very proud of, I'm very proud of him because we, we spend a lot of time together, we talk, we, we, we do a lot of consultations together, and he's really kicking butt, him and Marie are really kicking butt. Uh, in the industry. He's, he just said he got another one today. And uh, I mean, and he's doing the 99 and 55, the 99 and 55 for the setup and the texting a month. I don't know about you, but $55 a month for 500 texts, that's a pretty gosh dang good deal. So, and he's really, he's really starting to master the texting. Do not be afraid to go um, uh, sell texting. Do not be afraid to go sell texting. Once again, if people cannot afford if they cannot afford what you have or they, they don't want it, go to the next person. Start selling your quality products, the quality things that you sell to people who understand that their business needs it. They're going to grow. They're going to use your product. And then you don't have to deal with a bunch of pain in the butts. Okay. Very, very, very important. So simply go to ad text service and Let me go ahead and do this. Now, when I go through this in this platform, this is the App Wizard platform. It doesn't actually have a checkout. So um, we're going to add texting to that app. We're going to do the 500 text a month. Now, let me show you real quick. Start out at 500 or 1,000 text a month. The average text is usually about 840 for a small business that goes out. I know that uh, Rick Farrington was saying today he's upgraded uh, his service for one of his apps. Uh, K cup. It was their their K cup service, and uh, which I think that's coffee. But he's upgraded his uh, on his third time, so he's up here at the at the twenty five hundred text mark. But start down here. There's no use. There's no use losing money, even if you go in at the five hundred part. I mean the thousand price, the twenty five hundred price. You're somewhere around the ninety dollar or, or, or fifty dollar mark uh, that you built into your sale. Start them out at the at the 500 text, and when they're ready to move up, then move them up. It may take three months. It could take four months. It may it may take one month, but you're you're not uh, spending money that you don't need to spend that can is actually coming into your account, your checking account, okay? And the money is there for you to upgrade when you're ready to upgrade. So you just click on 500 text, click on order. Now, this isn't going to go to the uh, sign up form like I was talking about. This is going to go directly to. And I'm going to put my keyword in right here. So I like to do numbers. So let's do, uh, we'll just do 117208 or 2018. That happens to be the, today. Okay, so text 1172018 to 27126. 
And this is a sonic thing, okay? If, if you're wondering, well, why does he to put numbers in it? That's a sonic thing. It's what sonic does, and I'm a huge uh, uh, study of sonic, so <laughs> that's the only reason why. That's the only reason why. So I, I put a number in there, and now this is my number. A short business name, we'll call this Carrie's Pizza. That may be taken. I may have used this on training before. And that's loading up. It looks like it's good. Continue. And I've added tech service to that app. Now, what I usually do with tech service, if it's 15 bucks, I charge 30. If it's 25, I charge 50. Uh, Ken is getting 55 for 15. We did a training on this. Uh, just a few weeks ago, Ken, and, and, and we set it up 99 for the uh, uh, 99 for the uh, setup and 55. He went with that pricing and and it works for him. So it's it's perfect. Uh, good price point. And he's selling a bunch of it. So let's go over here to edit web app. Now, once again, I've already got the web app built. It's already colored. It's got the logo on it and, and all that stuff. I did change the name on the logo just to match up with tonight's training and this is a pizza app you move this over here so we're going to come in and we're going to go over here to content and this is the punch card system okay this is the punch card you don't this this is this isn't a coupon or uh, products and services or scratch off. This is this is the punch card. And we're simply going to come over here and, and I'm going to go ahead. I've already built the punch card and I'll go ahead and show you what we do. So when you when you go in you, and you build your punch card, you're going to it's going to ask you what the reward is. Free cookie with a pizza. Uh, card code one, two, three, four. Now what Subway does and this is what I recommend you do with your businesses. Do either a seven or 14 day um, uh, reward system. That way you set this out to 30 days and they're never going to be able to use that same card twice. Okay. They're never going to be able to use that same card twice. And you also set it up to one punch. If you set it, you don't want to set this to two punches. The subway system is an immediate use it right now and it goes away. Okay. It's not a, it's not a loyalty rewards where they come back five times and get something. This is come in today, spend your money, increase the return on investment for, for, for that advertising dollar because they're going to buy the extra things. They're going to buy the chips. They're going to buy the drink. They're going to buy uh, other things to go with it. So we're simply going to say free cookie with a pizza. Uh, one, two, three, four, one punch every 30 days. And we're going to hit save. Now that has created my what? That has created my punch card. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come up here we're going to go into Message Center, and we're going to go up here to Text Keyword, and we're going to set up our um, message that goes out. Oh, this is slow. Our internet was down yesterday all day long all day long. I mean, the, the, the temperature dropped 20 degrees and it was down all day long. Do you guys still see me and hear me? Make sure it didn't go out again. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna put the sign up incentive message here. So for the first sign up incentive message, uh, it's it, this could change every week because your things are gonna change every week, but it's also gonna be the same message that you send out uh, every week when you send out. It's just gonna change when they sign up. So if, this is, if you go from the first to the 15th and this is the first, okay, we're gonna say, uh, come for the pizza. Or come for the cookie, I think it said. No, it was come for the come for the sub. P I Z Z A. Come for the pizza. Stay for the cookie. 
All right. And uh, any sub purchase at Subway or any any pizza purchase. I'm copying this directly from Subway. Any pizza purchase. Now, there's something we're going to need to do here. So I'm going to have to save this and I'm going to have to come back because I forgot one step. So let me come over here. What we got to do is we've got to come over here to edit web app. We've got to get the link. We've got to get the link for the, uh, the offer. I'll show you how to do that real quick. We need to shorten that link. So let me come over here to content, homepage. We're going to turn this off once we get this link. I should have did this before I went to text text uh, keyword. Links, let's turn that on. So you guys watch this watch this video in reverse and you'll you'll get the steps down correctly. Okay, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my uh, my cursor right here over this where it says punch card. I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna turn that off now so I don't forget. Because you don't want people seeing this, right? This is a this is a text coupon special. And now I'm gonna come up here into message center where it says send new message. And I'm gonna shorten this link real quick. Any questions so far? Does anybody have any questions? Shorten URL. I'm gonna paste the whole link in there. I'm gonna add, and here's my shortened URL. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back up here to text keyword. Okay, expires um, 1.23. Okay, it puts an expiration on there. We put in the link. Okay, now we're gonna have to come in here. Uh, let's shorten some of these up. Four, I just need a couple of these. Let's just take that back right there. Go ahead and save. Watch your character count. Changes saved. Come back over here to edit web app. The sign up incentive message is in. It's current for the week. Now you're gonna to have to change that message when you change the offer, do not forget that because the sign up message is going to change, right? That sign up message is going to change because you want people using that coupon. Now, when you come up here and we go out and send a new message, <coughs> Subway sends their messages out on Wednesday, the same time that uh, Sonic sends their out, sends theirs out. <coughs> Wednesday seems to be a good time. You're going to click on, you're going to go to your text subscribers. Obviously, we don't have any text subscribers. You're going to put your message in right here. Come for the pizza. Stay for the cookie. Free cookie. With any pizza purchase. All right, and we're going to put the link in here. Expires, what I say, 123. We're going to come over here and get this short URL that's already in here. Hit preview now. There's your message. 
it's ready to go. And if you just click on your um, your people that you're going to send them out to for text, hit send message now, and you've done the exact same thing that Subway has done. Let's go over here. I'm going to go to edit web edit. I just want to walk you through for those of you who have never seen the uh, punch card. Got a lot of new people in tonight. Let me turn it back on. If you want to turn links on and off, this, this, this is how you do it. I'm just going to simply come over and turn this on. Now, when they click on that link to that punch card, it's going to pull that page up. You don't, you don't have to worry about if it's on here or not. It's automatically going to pull that page up. Okay. So let's come over here and reload this. I don't think I saved that just then. Maybe I did. Yes, I did. So what they're going to do is they're going to walk in and they're already going to know what to do. They're going to do the punch card. Okay. They're going to have to sign up for the punch card, which is really cool because this is just another safety feature and a great safety feature that when you're talking to your client, okay, the thing that you need to let them know is that their safety and their money is your greatest concern and that they don't lose anything using uh, systems that are inadequate that allows people to game the system. This is a great way that keeps people from gaming the system because what they have to do is they have to have an account. So they're gonna come in and they're gonna sign up. And hit submit. They're going to put their mobile phone number in and a password. Update password. Tap to punch card. The code is 1234. Now, it doesn't matter if they ever change this code again. And the reason for that is, is the fact that they're only going to use this one time anyway. So they can keep it one, two, three, four forever. The cashier can say just enter one, two, three, four when they get to this point because the person's going to ask, hey, do I have a, well, how do I put the code in? Cashier can simply say just enter one, two, three, four or nine, 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 whatever they want it to be. All right. And they're only going to be able to use that once because you set it up for 30 days. Remember, we set it up for 30 days and these are going to only run for one or two weeks. So you're never going to get past that point to where they're going to have another chance to submit this punch card. Congratulations, you are now able to redeem a free cookie with pizza. You do not need to redeem this to redeem at this time. You can continue accumulating points. Just like Subway, it's telling you, hey, if you push this thing, you're, you're, you're not going to get your free cookie if you're not standing in front of us, okay? You have to be here. Prior to tapping, redeem now, locate an employee. Once activated, you will have five minutes before the reward. Redeem now. Tells you again, okay, this is just a safety valve. It says, hey, if you redeem this, guess what? You better be in front of someone. And bam, the timer starts. Free cookie with a pizza. They show it to the person. When this counts down, it's, it's gone. If they're not in front of the person or if they do it too soon, they're gone. One thing that, the, uh, that I like about this, because I've done that a couple of times where I was messing around and I punched my redeem, and I wasn't at Subway yet, and uh, it, it, it went away. So I wound up going to Sonic, but it went away. What the, what the code does is allows them to be in front of that person and not, not uh, inadvertently do that. They've got to have that code, unless they go back every week, you know, and get a new sandwich or every two weeks and get a sandwich. They know it's one, two, three, four. If they do it then, then they don't deserve the sandwich anyway. All right. So I get it, offer uh, only valid on January 17, 2018, return, and I, and I can't do it again. Card already punched within last 30 days. Does everybody see that? Card already punched within last 30 days. So they cannot come in. So for those of you who talk to your clients and they say, hey, I need some kind of protection on this. I don't want people coming in and, and I tell people, hey, let me show you the Subway model. Subway has done a great job on putting together a redeemable coupon 
that can be used only once and when you want them to use it. Great way to do it. You set them up on the texting, you set them up on the coupon. Any questions at all on this, on this particular system? Anybody at all? Any confusion at all? Did it? Did I explain it? Can will you be able to go back and watch the video? Will you be able to go back and uh, uh, see everything that's going on there? Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Thank you, buddy. All right. So let's roll on there. Where we are done in this part of the system. Uh, SMS pricing. I would also charge for. I would. <laughs> I would charge them for a mobile card and I would also charge them for the punch card system. If I was going in and doing this, I would give this whole system right here for 149 and then I would do the, uh, the uh, texting for another 99. So I'd go in somewhere around uh, 248, 249 for the setup on this and I would do the 55 to $65 a month right off the bat. And I personally believe you could sell these like hotcakes all day long. I mean, like candy to a kid. Any other questions? Thank you for that, BK. Okay, let me go back over here to the uh, slideshow. If you have any questions, I can always go back if your brain starts working while I'm talking. <clears throat> Once again, I want to thank Will Sims for allowing me tonight to uh, bring this to you, to, to uh, share this with you. Uh, this is an account that is live and hot, so please do not go in and uh, text this number, this, this information I'm fixing to give you. I'm going to show you. I joined it myself uh, so, I could, so I could show everybody, but I want to make sure that you know this is a live account. Uh, someone is paying for this, so if you would, don't go in. But this is his digital directory, digital coupon giveaways in Tucum Carry. All right. And you can see a little shot of Tucum Carry here. Uh, looking forward to visiting Will uh, sometime this summer when I go up uh, to Vegas. But uh, this is a Tucum Carry and uh, this is his digital directory. This is where you have to set your ads up from. So if you're going to do local ads, you have to do a what? You have to do a Facebook page. And when you do a Facebook page, just go in and build your page. When you go in and build your ads, all your ads will come from your Facebook page, depending on what you're going to do. But we're going to do we're going to do ads from the Facebook page. So and you have to have a Facebook page. So go in and build your Facebook page. If you don't know how to do that, there's a thousand videos on YouTube and also in Facebook that show you exactly how to set it up. It changes about every three months how you build their pages, but it's all the same. Just the uh, just the look changes. Uh, the pages have changed dramatically over the last six months, how they look. Uh, really, this looks like a really nice web page, right? I mean, it's got the, uh, it's got the um, uh, links over here on the side. They, they've changed the way the uh, header image is and, and the profile image over here on the side. Really, really nice. And you can set these buttons up any way you want them. But this is his digital directory page. And this is his ad. Now, I'm going to tell you. I don't know who did the artwork for this. Well, did you do the artwork for this? But this is some killer, killer, killer artwork. I mean, it jumps right off the page and it tells you exactly. You don't have to read anything and you, you know, Will said he did it, man. I'm telling you, dude, some of the best I've ever seen right there. The best I've ever seen. This tells the whole story. And he, he said he did it in Uzine. This tells the whole story about what he's doing here. Look what's happening at Ken's. Still great food and a brand new VIP program. Sign up today. And you look right here, Ken's Ice Cream VIP Club. Text Ken's to 27126 for weekly specials. It does not get any better than that. It's sweet to the point. People don't get burnout looking at it. They, they see that nice, big, beautiful image. They know that it's an ice cream shop because you see the girl on the, on the left uh, holding the ice cream sign with the ice cream there on the right. Uh, you know exactly what you got to text. It's in big, bold letters. Text Ken's to 27126 
for weekly specials. Look what's happening at Ken, still great food and a brand new VIP program. Sign up today. He's got the call to action, tells you exactly what to do. You're signing up for a VIP program and you can tell that this is a new program. Look what's happening at Ken's. So he's letting the public know, okay, in Tucumcari, New Mexico, that Ken's has something hot going on. And when he, he sends these messages, sends this uh, local marketing out to the area and everybody sees that on their page, they're not going to have any question on what's happening at Ken's. No question at all. And I'm going to show you, I, I'm, I'm fortunate enough he gave me the numbers that I'm going to show you what he did. He's also got a really cool video right here that he did. This is a, this is a, 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 a tagged video, Ken's Ice Cream VIP program. And he's walking around the store in this video. I, I recommend you go to Tucumcari, New Mexico, and, um, and, and, and like his page so you can kind of see what he's doing. Uh, he walks around the store. If you've never seen Will on video, he does a really good job at it. He kind of walks around and just talks. He's got that good old boy, hey, come, come visit me kind of, kind of voice. And, and you can tell uh, he's comfortable doing it and he, and he doesn't stutter. It's really good the way he does it. And it's not like uh, you hired 15 people to come in and create this uh, fancy video. It, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. And when you go in here and you look at this video, he talks about signing up. And this is the point of sale right here. Okay. This is the point of sale. Now, this is, guys, he, he didn't have to go out and spend a million dollars on copy and on a bunch of stuff. People, when people walk in, they see this. Get a single dip waffle cone with the purchase today when you sign up. It tells you exactly what to do. Text Kins to 27126. All right. Now, this is what happens. Please, I, I ask you out of respect. He was kind, kind enough to do. I've asked people to let me share their SMS stuff before, and people sign up for their thing and they start using up their text. So that's why that's why I don't do a lot of uh, uh, actual. Uh, programs that's going on out there so please respect that when you sign up they're going to get this back reply yes to agree to receive marketing text messages from kins i understand i'm not required to provide consent to buy any goods or services this is required by the ftc okay if i get this once i get it a thousand times when people send up sign up for text messaging please take that off there i don't want that yes you do because they will find you about twenty five thousand dollars a text message and I'm sure you don't want that to happen. So this is required by the FTC. It's pre-programmed into the system. Uh, you That will go out automatically. They know that they've got to uh, sign up. They type yes. And then it's going to come back, Ken's. Thanks for joining. Welcome, VIP. Show this text for a single scoop waffle cone with purchase. Expires in two days. I love the way you did this, buddy. He didn't put a date in here. But what does this do? He put scarcity in here without putting a date. This expires in two days. So in your mind, your, your conscious mind, you're thinking, gosh, I got to run down there and get this done or I'm going to miss out on this free ice cream. So I'm going to run down there immediately and I'm going to go ahead and buy what I got to buy because it expires in two days. He didn't say it expires on a day. It expires in two days. So psychologically, you're thinking, uh, man, this thing expires in two days. I got to get down there. OK, so really, really smart, really smart marketing. Great job on that, buddy. Uh, message and data rates may apply. Now, this is, uh, this is when he started, okay, uh, on the 4th, and this was this month, all right? Uh, he had, had a couple of opt-ins. I know he has some more here. I've got another slide to show you. Opted in on Saturday, 16, and this is from his ads. He's running local Facebook ads, all right, to the local market, driving local traffic into Facebook, simply with a great graphic that speaks out to the people and tells them exactly what to do, exactly what they have to do and exactly what they're going to get when they do it. Her business, this was a failing business and, and Will has literally, uh, it's a great, this is going to be a great, great, great story if this girl pulls this business up and she's got the nose, she was headed into the ground and she's, she's pulling back on that wheel and, and just about to write that plane. So uh, because of text message marketing, because of text message marketing. So you can see here, um, 35 texts, and I don't, let's see, this was January the 6th, I guess, sometime around there, uh, 35 text subscribers. He started on the 4th, this is the 6th, 
doing a really, really good job. Uh, day five, 42 subscribers, doing an amazing job. I mean, through local marketing. And Will, how big is Tucumcari, New Mexico? Uh, I never heard it until you moved there, but I, I know they have a big balloon festival there. And so you can see here, 3,500 people. 30, so he's already got over 1%. He's already got over 1%. And he's getting a 12% return. Now think about that. He's got 1% of the market so far, just a little over 1% of the market. And he's getting a 12% return on his ads that are going out. So here you got opted in 21, opted in eight, opted in four, opted in one, sent a text message. Opted in two, sent a text message. Now, uh, he just did one. Is this the, he just did a burger one. That was probably this one right here. Uh, did a text message for burgers. They're, they're waiting to see how that goes. Uh, but immediately people started coming in. They sent out one for milkshakes or malts or something like that. And immediately when they sent that out, people responded. And uh, the day before, she had no customers or one customer. The next day, customers started coming in saying, hey, uh, I want to get this in a free malt. So to say the proof is in the pudding is like, is like an understatement of the year. The proof is in, in exactly what he's doing, and it's working. And if it will work, in 3,500 Tucumcari, New Mexico at Ken's Ice Cream Shop and Burger Bar, I can promise you, if you follow this simple, easy to do plan, if you will put it together and, and show people exactly how it works, and I'm sure Will will not mind you speaking about how it happened that helped Ken's in Tucumcari, New Mexico with 3,500 people, I can promise you, if this will happen in Tucumcari, New Mexico, it will happen and work where you're at right now. So let's go in and I'm going to set up a local ad. Now I've already done some pre-work on this because I knew I didn't want to go, go late tonight. So let's go in and I'm going to go back over to uh, let's go here. Sorry about that. Let me get that out of the way. Okay, now I've already set up a duplicate ad in one of my pages because I can't do it from his page, obviously. I don't have admin access. Look what's happening at Ken's. Still great food and a brand new VIP program. Sign up today. Here's my ad. Here's everything about it. I will delete this when I'm done, buddy. Uh, so I'm going to send out this ad. I'm going to, I'm going to take this post in this page and I'm going to go in and create an ad. So I'm going to simply go down here and I'm going to go create ads. It's going to take you into the ads manager. You don't have to do a lot with this. Let Facebook pretty much do its thing. Let it, let it hit its algorithm. Let it, let it run its course. Let it log in. <laughs> any questions so far at all? Will is on here, so if you have any questions for him, uh, feel free to uh, feel free to ask. Let me go ahead and back out of that. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to engagement. I want them to engage with that post. I'm gonna click on engagement. Do you use engagement, Will? I wanna do a post engagement, okay? You can do a split test, I'm not gonna do a split test. I'm going to go continue. You, you will want to name your ad set.
Let this load up. Setting up a local ad is very, very easy. Not difficult to do at all. We're just gonna call this uh, that'll ever load up down there. Okay, we'll just call this uh, kids ad. We're not gonna do a custom audience. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the United States. Depending on where you live, uh, depends on really how many zip codes you wanna put in. I'm gonna, I'm in commerce, so I'm gonna put in my zip code. 75428, that will encompass the entire zip code of commerce. That's all I'm concerned about. I don't really need anything else. This is the zip code of commerce. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna drop this down right here to 16. For an ice cream store or a burger place, uh, the, the kids are driving at 16. You know, they, they've, got, they've got maybe a job or something. So they have the opportunity to, to go out there. It's not like a bar and grill or something that someplace their moms wouldn't want them to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that market age down because they're driving at 16. They can put a few kids in the car. They can go eat burgers and hang out at the ice cream shop which is where they need to be hanging out anyway. I'm gonna keep it at all men and women. I'm not gonna do any detailed targeting. I'm not worried about demographics. I wanna reach everybody in that town. Don't worry about ad connection type. Don't worry about any of this stuff right here. We're gonna come down. Now, this is just my thinking. I'm only gonna do mobile. I'm not gonna do desktop. All right, and the reason I'm gonna do mobile is why? Because they're, we're gonna, we want them signing up. Uh, yeah, desktop gets no traffic to speak of. It's, it's really low. It's about 85% on, uh, on mobile. I'm gonna get rid of all this other stuff. The only thing I want it in is feeds. I'm not gonna do it in streaming. I'm not gonna do it in suggested videos. I don't need any of this stuff right here. If I can click it out. Uh, I'm not gonna run it on Instagram. Might be something if you, if you wanna to put together an Instagram ad that you may wanna do. Let's take it off the of Instagram. We'll take it off the of instant articles. Now, this is going to tell you if you take it off the ad network, it's it's going to uh, it's going to be a little bit more or something. You're not doing streaming video and you're not going to be in the ad network anyway. Okay, all mobile devices don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi. Just leave all that stuff like it is. We're going to run this thing until uh, see, we're going to run it for a month. Let's just go to February 28th. Or you can run it continuously or whatever you wanna do. If you run it continuously, it runs every day. If you wanna set a start date and end date, I like to set a start date and end date for mine. That way, if I forget to stop the ad or whatever, you can see here our estimated daily reach is 510 to 1700 people with an average of 14 to 91 uh, post engagement of 9,800 people. That means 9,800 people in that zip code, my zip code uh, has, has Facebook, okay? Has Facebook. <clears throat> so here we go. We can uh, set this at a dollar if we want. I'm not gonna get quite as large of a, uh, a reach, but uh, 100 to 480 reach a day, okay? It doesn't give you an estimate on how many clicks, but I recommend five bucks a day to start Don't worry about post engagement. Let Facebook set the bid that helps you get the most uh, engagements. This is uh, gonna run um, uh, per thousand. So you don't worry about that. You don't need to worry about changing this. You're gonna do post engagements. If you go to manual here, this is gonna say it's like $2 per post engagement. 
when you get charged, you get charged per impressions. All right. And it's a thousand impressions. Will says he has his set at two bucks a day. Nothing wrong with that. 3,500 people. You're probably going to reach every single person. He uses $2 a day, $100 a day, $100 a day is pretty steep. Okay, and you're simply gonna come up in here and you're gonna click continue. We're gonna use an existing post. Get Digi. This is where the post is. Select a post. We're going to select the post right here. This is the one we just built. You can add a button if you want. Learn more. Send message now. Shop now. What you could do on this is you could put goes put the uh, sign up page right here into the URL you want to promote if you want to take them to the sign up page uh, to join the uh, the club you could do that whatever you want to put there send a message if you want them to send a message on Messenger if it was me I would do learn more and I would have them sign up from right here. And then you're simply going to come down. You may reach fewer people because there's too much text in the ad image. Facebook prefers ad images with little or no text. Consider changing your image, placing your order, getting guide, request manual review. I'm going to show you something here real quick if you've never done this. They're going to review the image, blah, blah, blah. This just keeps you from, uh, from getting kicked out. Obviously, the, the ad worked and he didn't get kicked out. And we're going to hit continue. And I'm not going to hit the continue because I'm not going to activate this ad, but that's just how simple it is to run a local ad. Just that quick, just that easy. Set up your objective, your audience, your placements, your budget, your identity, and your creative. Our creative has been set. We're simply using the simple ad that uh, was created over here. Great ad, Ken, uh, Ken. Great ad, Will. And he's been building his list. Any questions at all on setting up a uh, local Facebook ad? Very easy to do. Do not mess with any of the buttons. Let Facebook do its thing. Facebook is very good at setting the, the algorithms and setting. They want you to, you know, a lot of people say, well, Facebook's going to, Facebook's going to screw me. You know, I don't really want to, I don't really want to let them uh, do this or do that or whatever. Facebook wants your money, man. They, they don't, they want you to succeed. Trust me, they want your ads to work because they want you going from $5 to $1,000. Absolutely, William. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I hope that helped you. Any questions at all? You are going to show setting up in-page app video. When you say setting it, you're talking about putting a video on the page? Is that what you're talking about? Simply go to YouTube. Let everything load. Click on the video you want. Go to share. Whatever your idea. Go to embed. Pull the embed code.
go to content, go to text slash HTML, click on the source code, drop the video in, change the 560 to 100%, change the 315 to 158, hit OK. Center the video. And there you go. About 30 seconds there. If you want to remove the video, simply put your cursor up there, back it out, and you're done. Anything else? Anybody else? Okay, thanks everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, I hope this training was helpful to you. I think that the uh, the subway model is a great way for you to, uh, uh, Will says 55 setup, thanks. It is the 100% and the 158 I was missing. Awesome, glad that helped you. Uh, I think the subway model is a great model that if you're, if you're wanting to expand and, and uh, build you a nice recurring revenue, it's a great recurring revenue model. Everything I'm working this year is recurring revenue. I just don't see how uh, anything else could, can, I, 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 I don't want to teach anybody anything else because I think it's better to work smarter than harder. And uh, I think it's easier to build a six, seven figure business doing recurring revenue than it is just doing one-offs in, in businesses like this. So uh, awesome, Jerry, look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. All right, buddy. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody. God bless. Good night. And I will see you on next Wednesday night's training. And uh, we're going to continue with branding next week. I've got a couple more articles that I want to go through uh, to help you and continue uh, building uh, your business. Uh, awesome, buddy. Hey, thank you, BK. Love you, man. And uh, all right. See you guys next week. And ladies, good night. Absolutely, Ken. Thank you, buddy.